if seeing is believing, then there's going to be a whole lot to see and believe this November at SC22 in Dallas. I'm Rich Finlinson, and my guest is Jim Stewart. Jim is the chair of exhibits at SC22. Jim, what is there going to be to see? We've got uh, a lot of excitement from our exhibitors, and they've got their latest and greatest, and it's been a couple of years since we've had um, a full conference. Uh, many of them attended last year at SC21 in St. Louis, and uh, they're going to be back, and others will be there this year. And, uh, you know, technology marches on. There's all kinds of new th and interesting things that we'll see this year. I'm wondering, though, as exhibits chair, have you faced some unusual challenges in getting ready for SC22 in Dallas? Well, there's been this little thing called a pandemic. And so that has been. And, and you know, we, we were successful in holding the conference last year, but uh, under some uh, difficult circumstances and uh, we, we weren't, uh, you know, there weren't as many contributors last year as, as we were hoping. And so, and we watched that because we watched a lot of excitement at the start of 21. And then when uh, things happened and we had some cancellations and other things that uh, uh, we just didn't know what we were going to face this year. And so we tried to prepare for everything. So, why should potential attendees make the decision to attend in person? What kind of an experience are they going to have if they're actually there in Dallas? Well, it's a great facility and uh, we've got you know, a lot of uh, space that, that we've allocated. We see a lot of our exhibitors are expanding their booth sizes and we've got a number of new exhibitors that, that we haven't had in the past. And there's a lot of excitement around the technology and, and what's been happening. And of course, uh, we see where technology just, um, especially this high performance computing area, but the, the networking that we're doing really affects all of our lives. And so this is going to be a great opportunity to get together and, and to be in person. And the other thing that we're seeing is just this, this really an enjoyment of being in the same space and having that opportunity to see each other after not being able to do that for a couple of years. The exhibit hall really is a place where uh, you have the opportunity to bump into people that you might not necessarily have on your schedule to see them, but you get to see them anyway, right? Well, of course. And uh, there are several individuals that I'm looking forward to seeing that I haven't seen. Uh, some of our friends from Europe and other parts of the world are going to be here and uh, in Dallas in November, and it's going to be great to be able to see them. I had the opportunity to go to Europe earlier uh, this year, and uh, just that, you know, it's just, I, I just find it to be just so endearing and, and such life affirming that we can be together and see each other and, and have that opportunity and how much we've missed it. And so I think that we're going to enjoy that. Uh, we're also, and I think that this is well known, but we're going to have an exhibitor party for our exhibitors. Uh, what are some of the best ways, Jim, for people to make the most of their time in the exhibit hall? There's going to be something like, what, 300 exhibits to see. Uh, that's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is a lot. No doubt about that. And uh, I would think that you're going to want to get onto our website. And, and there's a lot of uh, good information there, a lot of resources on the website, and you're going to want to follow, especially with the exhibitors, because those exhibitors are going through a lot of effort to put out information that you can follow there. Hall Erickson's going through some work to just make sure that that uh, the floor is laid out uh, in a logical way and, and that you have all of the information about where exhibitors are. You want to plan your, your time there wisely because... Uh, there's just so much going on this year and so much opportunity and, and uh, you know, make sure that you come early and stay late. And we've got the food courts and we've got uh, some, some lounges and some places where you can relax and, and then, and take people and you can, you know, take time to, to uh, have conversations and uh, reacquaint yourself and get to know uh, new people, new organizations. And uh, there are some, uh, first time companies that are going to be here that are coming and having fairly large booths and, and really a, a presence 
here. So I think there are lots of opportunities to uh, reacquaint yourself with old friends, get to know new friends and, uh, and just really have uh, that opportunity of, of seeing everything that's going on on the floor. But, you know, make sure you get out there on the website, make sure that you go to the information that the exhibitors are providing and uh, do some planning before you show up. Very good. Well, I want to pull back the curtain a little bit, go behind the scenes with you, Jim. I know that you're a former chair of SC, of SINET. Uh, how did that experience of building that world-class, uh, one-of-a-kind network, how did that kind of an experience in management prepare you for being the chair of exhibits? Well, exhibits is such an easier job. Uh, you know, first of all, you've got Freeman and Hall Erickson that have real professionals that, that really do a lot of the work. And so um, it gives us some other opportunities. I mean, we will have um, the exhibitor forum and uh, Bob Lucas is in charge of that. And we've had a significant number of uh, proposals for that. And Bob's working out the details there. But that's that's going to be a fun thing. And then we've got the career fair on the floor. And and so there are some things that we get to be a part of. And Sinet, of course, helps the exhibitors, right? They they get to ride on Sinet's bandwidth. We do, uh, and our exhibitors uh, are, are really uh, fortunate to have that live network. And uh, it doesn't happen at every conference. And it's one of those things that sets apart SC. Jim Stewart, the chair of SC22 Exhibits. Thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you, Rich.